Gx Dam and Sharon. I am bringing you a really fast card today. This Texas gal that got transplanted to Arizona is enjoying using the new stamp set from Stampin' Up with the cactus. Let me just show you my two cards really quick. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, you can do so below. After you subscribe, you can hit the little bell. You'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Oh, and please leave comments. I love to read your comments. They just make my day. Let me show you my cards. Here are my two cards that we're gonna be doing on today's video. And I just thought it was adorable that it looked like the cactus was were waving. Hi there. I think my family back in Texas is gonna love getting these cards. I know my grandkids will especially. Um, I have learned so much about living in the desert. This is a saguaro cactus, and I live very close to the Saguaro National Park, where you can drive through and see all these cactuses with arms. Now, story about the arms. They don't grow arms until they're like 75 years old. They can live up to 150 years. When you see more arms on a cactus, on the saguaro cactus, that means it's really old. I just found it fascinating that it took that long for it to grow arms. And all the arms go different ways, so it's really kind of fun. All right, let me show you what I used. I used the Flowering Desert stamp set from Stampin' Up! And I also pulled in the Waterfront Stampin' Up! I wanted the mountains and uh, a little bit of sand for my desert. Where I live, I live in, in the mountains. So it's kind of crazy that there's desert and mountains and everything here. I have my Whisper White sheet and this is um, five inches by three and three quarters. It will mount on my Melon Mambo that is uh, five and a quarter inches by four inches. And then my card base, I use Whisper White and it is five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. So a simple, simple layout. Stamp pads I'm using is Melon Mambo, Soft Suede, and Garden Green. We're gonna do our little cactus first. This is more like a barrel cactus. There's so many different kinds of cactuses here. Um, first, we're gonna start off with our sand, and I'm using soft suede. I stamped once with full ink, and then I stamped again. Next, we're gonna stamp our mountains. If you wanna see pictures of my mountains and my saguaro cactus pictures, you are welcome to hop over to my blog. Um, I'll have that link in the description below. We're gonna stamp two that are full on, uh, so fully inked, and then we're gonna stamp one in the distance. I'm always amazed when we're driving around um, at how the mountains all look different colors, and some days they're brown, and some days they're gray. It's really kind of fun. We're gonna put three little barrel cactuses. By the way, when you get your stamp set, when I first stamped this, let me show you. See how it's um, kind of lighter right there? I was like, oh, something's wrong with my stamp. Whenever you wonder that, Pull out the stamp set and look at the image. Yep, sure enough, there's a softness there, uh, a little, you know, just to kind of give it more of a realistic look, I think, maybe, I don't know. I wasn't the artist, but I love it now that I figured it out. And then there's so many little pieces in the stamp set that you can use to build your cactus. So these are gonna be waving, so we just have one little arm coming off. Next, we're gonna stamp some flowers with the Melon Mambo. And then there's some tiny flowers. Now 
Now we're going to add our layers. Just using some snail adhesive. And then to our card base. This is really easy stamping. Next I have my layers for my sentiment and this is really tiny. Uh, my watt is um, one and three eighths by five eighths. And then my melon mambo is a one and a half by three quarters. So pretty tiny. Um, We're going to add these layers on with some dimensionals. And they're just saying hi there. Pretty cute. Let's do my next card. Same measurements. We're just going to do it in a different direction. We're going to stamp our mountains. Oh, better get my paper. Then we're going to stamp our desert. really does kind of look that way guys when you're out in the desert <laughs> um so next we have our big cactus and i'm going to go ahead and ink him up this way this is our sororo you know living in texas i lived in north texas so i really didn't live out in west texas um, but i have learned since i moved out here that the sororo cactus is native to the Sonoran Desert, which I am living in. All right, so we have our flowers. We're gonna stamp one that way and one that way. I have taken pictures of barrel cactuses that, oh, the blooms on the top are just magnificent. I mean, it is just incredible. If I can find those pictures, I'll put those on my blog too because it's amazing. All right, so now we're going to add our layers. I think I have probably made a dozen of these cards so that I can send them to my grandkids. Oh, look at that. Somehow I have pink ink on my fingers. So we know exactly where we're going to be putting our sentiment layer. So I have our layers again, same size as the first card. I'm the queen of boo-boos sometimes. And I can hide my mess ups. I'm not going to make that whole card all over again. That's crazy. Whoops. There you go. Nobody will ever know. Oh, wait. Y'all know. All right, guys, these are my two cards. I hope you liked them and have fun with those cactus. Oh, did I tell you that like in the different stores, like craft stores and stuff, there's all kinds of uh, cactus decor. I saw um, like a sign. I don't know. It must be a thing. And I think Stampin' Up! was spot on when they came out with this stamp set at this time of the year. 
Okay, y'all, if you want to see my pictures of the Saguaro National Park, you can head over to my blog. Otherwise, happy stamping, y'all.